So why is Trump winning? I mean, the poll, the New York Times poll this week came out, and maybe this will change it with the State of the Union address, but, it, but Trump was beating him rather soundly. It was quite a warning light, 48 to 43, also winning way more among women, women than he had before, winning outright Latinos. What, what do you attribute that to? I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel the way I did, and many, many of us don't, after the election in, 19, in uh, 2016. Uh, where we couldn't believe that it happened. The guy is a total monster. And uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic. They want to fuck with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, hateful person. I, I, I never pay, play him as an actor because he's, I can't see any good in him. Bill Mayer's exploration of Donald Trump's rise intertwined with Robert De Niro's impassioned responses and progressive concerns about Trump's electoral victories. De Niro's remarks convey deep emotions, reflecting anxiety, existential questions, and intense apprehension. His portrayal of Trump as a total monster and a man nasty and hateful person symbolizes liberal disdain, potentially alienating moderate or conservative Trump supporters. De Niro's pledge to avoid post-election despair resonates with many, highlighting a desire to prevent the disappointment of Trump's prior win. Criticism of Trump, as seen in De Niro's statements, may reveal a lack of empathy or a reluctance to engage with differing viewpoints, widening the political divide. This narrative underscores the challenge for liberals to understand and connect with Trump's supporters, crucial for electoral strategy and broader political discourse.